feeling so fresh, so juicy Only rock with the best, I'm choosy I got the sauce, I'm choosy In the ghetto, at the same time, bougie Do it, wanna take a photo Cause my style look up Caught a good vibe, I can feel it in my soul Driving around the Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of what I like to call the Hangout Joint. This is where we'll be exploring passion and dreams and so much more. So make sure you stay tuned and let's kick it. I'll be your host Siobhan Tanya Meinke and with us today we have the very beautiful, very vivacious, energetic, fitness bunny, Promise. <laughs> no clackla. <laughs> Promise, how are you? I'm good, my babe. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's hang out. Let's kick <laughs> it. Let's kick it with you, girl. All right. So, Promise, you know, with every venture, there has to be a beginning. Do you want to speak to us about how the entire femme fitness, you know, journey has panned out and where you began? You know what? When I think about it, I get, I actually get so nervous because it takes me back to the sleepless nights where I was doing so much of mental planning and preparation and I was just also grooming myself mentally to to say you know what promise when you get to Rhodes you are gonna face so many challenges I was just like I don't even know where to start but I was like it starts with the vision and once you have your your vision you're able to then um, decipher what your mission should look like so it started with a pen paper a dream and passion for working out um, so just to like take you through a bit of a rundown of how the inception of Fem Fitness started it's actually kind of crazy because you know my man helped me with the word with you know the name of my yeah. business Fem Fitness mm. um, Fem Fitness is all things women it's all things women empowerment it's all things women inspiring and motivating I just wanted to create a space for women where we could all work out together and just put ourselves first during that one hour. We put ourselves first, we forget about things that are happening at home, we forget about finances, we forget about all the strains and the stresses and we just focus on ourselves during that one hour. Gravitate all the energy and, and, just, and, just, and just work on us. Yeah. So I thought, okay, how will I create this space for women? And I said, it starts with me, the passion I have for women and the passion that I have for building women. I put it down on paper, girl. All, all, all my dreams, everything that I was thinking of, I had to be very strategic about it. So I also drew up a business plan in the case that maybe somebody wants to invest or somebody sees potential in me and, you know, I spark some sort of fire or ignite something in them that wants them to say, you know what? that young lady has a dream and I ought to invest in something like that because as far as I stand there have been student trainers at mm. Rose University mm. but no one has Absolutely. ever no one has ever initiated a movement like this mm. for women mm. so I wrote it all down and I started looking at the technicalities such as mm. venue how am I gonna you know run this program and also make sure that it doesn't clash with you know these you know my queen's timetables and schedules because they're all so busy but it took a lot of planning and it just took a relentless pursuit yeah. for this dream yeah. i wrote it all down and by god's grace and the support of my lovely friends and the support of my man i am going taking it one day at a time i have a vision for it mm -hmm. i want this to turn into a fitness empire where i just have a studio mm -hmm. a gym for women yeah have you heard of something like that before we get studios well that's something we haven't heard of in south africa <laughs> list a gym for women <laughs> for us yeah Period. wow beautiful you spoke about you know facing a bit of hardships along the way do you want to talk to us about you know the kind of challenges you faced and how you've overcome them you know, I think when, when you're a strong woman, mm -hmm. you are blessed with um, being able to think on your feet, being able to capitalize, being being able to be, to innovate, yeah. to make a plan, basically, mm -hmm. you know, without mm -hmm. using all this lavish diction. I, I honestly feel like as a student, I haven't received the support of the school. And it's kind of sad because I thought they'd jump onto this. We are in an era where, women are taking a stand and women 
are empowering and women are, are fighting for equality and women are claiming their space in society. And so when I proposed this um, to the sports department, it, it seemed like they, 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 they could see the vision and that they were on board. But as time went by, you know, uh, Everyone can say, I'm here for you, I'll support you. But when it comes to the action, I didn't really see that. So I work on a system where I just book a venue on Ross. <laughs> I book a venue on Ross and I make it happen. I had a vision of how I wanted the space for my girls to be. Mm. And we trained in venues such as the Great Hall and everything. And it just, it's great that I have a bunch of women that are understanding, that are just happy that, you know what, I'm in a space with other women. But I would like, my space to have light to have my logo in there yeah. you know i want to invest on equipment mm. i want my space to have equipment i want my girls to be comfortable i want mm. it to have personality in life because at the end of the day i was like promise i want this to have your personality written all over it because somehow people seem to gravitate towards your personality and somehow people seem to absorb so much of strength from you mm. but you know so my main challenges is just like support from the school and acknowledgement and you know even though I did write a formal letter to the SRC and they tried to jump in but mm. it wasn't consistent especially given the fact that this was a new project an exciting project exciting for women project um, but you know I work around all these challenges mm. I work around the challenge of venue and space and you know it was a, it, it is a challenge but you know it also helps me step my game up because yeah. if I can't give the visuals and the aesthetics mm. that the women want mm. like the colors and like walking <laughs> into a place that has equipment that means all of all of that has to come from me mm. so my personality has to be I have to drive them be yeah. energetic from the top right to the end yeah and speaking of you're doing all this in a school in an institution right how have you been able to balance you know, your schoolwork and this? You know, I'm just gonna be like really frank with you. Mm. Um, time, time really doesn't wait for anyone. Yeah. And I, I had to do an introspection, mm. and sit down with myself, and say, "Promise, okay, you're you're at a certain age now, mm. and you." have dreams mm. you have goals to accomplish mm. are you gonna wait to complete your degree and then start chasing your dreams and your passions or are you gonna start where you are with what you have and just and just begin humble beginnings so I just I got tired because I couldn't sleep at night and I felt like I had I had a purpose on this planet earth I had a purpose and my purpose was to be there for women and empower them through fitness and training. Mm. So I, I was, it was really spontaneous, but it had been brewing inside of me for the longest time. There's no way I could put my dreams on a back burner because I had a degree to complete, you know what I yeah. mean? With that being said, it is quite a challenge. So I'm very strict with my time. Mm. I'm very strict with my energy. Mm. I'm very strict with who I allocate my time to mm. and how I allocate my time. Yeah. So I think it just takes you reallocating and reprioritizing. Mm. So that time that you would have spent going out or you know having a social life, redirected that energy into my business and allocated some time into my academics. That just means I spend less time with people out there. But that's okay because I'm happy. Mm. Mm, and being happy. happy is one important thing in life. Very hey. important. Wow, promise. You know, I don't want to sound cliche, but I have to say okay. your future seems overly promising. You know, what should we expect in the new five, like a few five years? You know, you know what? It's, it's so overwhelming when I think about it. There's just so much of pressure on myself, mm. but. I think given what I w I've been able to accomplish in this space with all the challenges and all the disadvantages and how far I've come, I think a lot is going to, I think a lot is going to come through. I'm hoping to start a workout channel. Yeah. I'm hoping to... Oh, that's interesting. Yes, a workout <laughs> channel, um, my own YouTube, you know, like just small mm. foundation mm. type of thing. Mm. Um, I really love working out so I think why not make workout videos and make them accessible to women that can't physically reach me you know yes. that I can't have that personal yes. you know so yes. I, I want to share myself reach with, out you know with women of all races and mm. cultures and mm. 
you know that type that type of um, situation. So it's it's that, and um, I'm gonna be established in Durban, yes. back at home. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my own space there, mm -hmm. get my own equipment in there, and just create that personality that I wanted initially to bring at Roots University. So I'll have my little studio and the vision is to turn that little studio into a fitness empire. And God knows if I'm blessed and I get invest investment and I could have a branch in Durban or in, in Joburg or Cape Town, yeah. I could expand this mm. and expand the movement. Because mm. it is essentially a movement. There's more behind them fitness than mm. just fitness and training. Mm. Powerful stuff. You're telling me a lot of good things. You're telling me a lot of. Oh, I'm telling you what you want to hear. <laughs> no, you're telling me all the right things, all the things you've been working towards, and all the things you know you're trying to work towards. Hey, mm -hmm. now um, I have to ask. You know, when you're not doing some fitness, when you're not doing schoolwork, who is Promise? Promise. Promise is a lot. <laughs> Most people that are close to me know that. I love I love space to myself mm. and I think I enjoy it and respect it so much now more like more now than I ever did because I it took me a while to build a relationship with myself mm. I really didn't know myself a few mm. years ago mm. and I think it was more of the environment um, the people I had around me yeah people I might have a person I might have dated or you know I you know you become so engrossed mm -hmm. when you're busy having relationships mm -hmm. with everyone else besides yourself because mm -hmm. you give 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 yes. but um, I've reclaimed all of that time and promise is really just a down-to-earth person mm -hmm. she is a giver mm -hmm. she's a helper she's a lover people know that that's my weakness I love to love people I love to take care of people um, apart from that I did speak about how I've built a relationship with myself. Yeah. So in my alone time, I, I do a lot of introspection. Mm. I do a lot of. I'm very girly. <laughs> There's nothing I was wrong with that. Why are you I saying it like I was trying to stay away from from you know all of that. I really in my spare time, I hit the spa. Yes. I do my nails. Mm -hmm. I get my hair done. Yes. All the right things. It's just it's so therapeutic, mm. and I love reading. Mm. A good movie. And yeah, that's who Promise is behind closed doors. Promise with the friends is not so zen though. <laughs> She's not so chill. You guys know <laughs> I'm all over the show. A bit dramatic <laughs> and sometimes people misinterpret it as I don't know what, but it's just like never never catch feelings. Like I'm very I'm just animated. Mm, you know, mm. I'm just an animated individual. I don't like stale personalities. Like let's entertain each other like let's have fun let's not let's not have hidden agendas or when we when we're all kicking it let's not have like stale faces like mm. let's all be here for each other yeah yeah that's who promise is she's she's like a bit of everything to be honest because mm. you see me on campus and i look so so introverted so to myself but then you have a one-on-one -on -one and you're like she's crazy literally <laughs> So yeah, that's me. Okay. Well, you know, just put it out there one time for people. You know, I would not do justice, especially to gents, if I did not retaliate this. Promise. Mm -hmm. What is your relationship status? <laughs> My relationship. <laughs> okay, but I did mention earlier on. That's how why we're retaliating it. That's why we're saying it again. How my man? I have a man. Mm. Yeah, I'm mm. so happy. I have a king. Oh. She says, okay. King. Well, there you have it, guys. It's a no go zone. Hey, <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you for having me. Thank this you for awesome. kicking it, you know, showing us a few moves. Some that I actually did not get right, but anyway, you worked it. I will work I on it. I need you in class. That's what I'll do. I will work on it <laughs> because that's who we are. We're a work in progress mm. every day. We just work, we work on ourselves. The, the most authentic versions of ourselves. All right. Thank you so much, Promise. Thank you for having me. This was great. Kicking it with my girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. Young, ambitious, and with a dash of fears. Make sure you catch us next time on Kicking It with Natanya, and let's kick it. <laughs>
Kawa, Kamakawa, Ida, Nikonami.